Hi guys, I'm here today getting ready to show you how to stitch area 13 of the Bernina Ruler Work Quilt Along. And this uh, design is a little blossom and it's actually really easy to stitch out and really fun. And it's a great option for a big block where you're just looking for something a little special. It looks great with free motion around the edge too. Okay, so to get started, you can see I've already marked the crosshairs of my block and I did that by connecting the diagonals and then I drew a horizontal and vertical line right through the center of that intersection. So now I'm gonna bring up my bobbin thread to the top right in the center. If, if I can't really, I can put my presser foot down if I can't really tell uh, where I am at any given time. And I'm gonna do a few stitches really close together. Now in reality, I don't need to do a whole bunch of stitches because I'm gonna be going over the central uh, spot over and over and over. It's going to be locked in by the time we finish stitching. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to stitch a circle around all of these spokes, a, a circle around each spoke. And I'm using the Bernina uh, sit down set. I have it taped together for added security and just to give me more surface area when I'm holding the ruler. This set has a, let's see, an opening in the bottom. That means when I'm stitching around the circle, I really can't use this edge. I know it, you'll note it comes with a little crosshair square, which is helpful if you're using the inner circle, but we really are uh, going to be using the outer circle, not the inner circle. So you can't use uh, the crosshair in that manner. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to stitch around the top of the circle, and then I'm going to rotate the ruler, and then we're gonna stitch around the bottom of the circle. You can really start by stitching any of the circles. As I said, when you finish, it's going to look like this. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm stitching the Bernina Q24, but you can do this um, on a domestic as well. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch around this circle, then I'm gonna rotate the circle to avoid that little opening. So let's go ahead and do that. When I get to the top, as I said, I'm going to have to move the ruler. So while I do that, I'll also clip these threads. I'm going to be going over that point over and over, so I'm not really too worried about their security. Okay. And I'm using, I don't know if you can see this on camera, I'm using those, um, the lines, the etched lines on the ruler to make sure they're sitting right on the drawn line. Um, that comes out of the center point at a 45 degree angle. So I'm making sure that the circle's dead on, that it's not like over there or over here, it's dead on. And I'm using those lines. So I'm actually going to lower my stitch tension just a little because it looks high to me today. Okay. All the way around until I get back to my center point okay and I'm gonna stop next I'm gonna go around the circle again but this time I'm using this line as um, the center of the circle so a little tricky to see over here I go around halfway and then because the ruler has an opening I'll rotate the ruler and go around the other half. And I might stop if I get to um, a spot where I have to reposition my hands, and I stop in that exact same center. Now I rotate my ruler like this. Okay, if I, I, I'm gonna keep going around in that counter, count, counterclockwise direction, just don't know, so I don't back out of that point and create a possible uh, dimple, so I'm just gonna keep going around like this and I'll be back and I'll show you what this looks like when it's and completed. This is what your blossom will look like when it's complete. 